Well, hello everyone, Don Conroy here. Well, this Christmas I've partnered with Lidl because they have this magnificent supply of art materials to help you all get creative. So here's an example of what's around. So what I want you to do is join me on Draw With Don on YouTube where I'll show you how to draw maybe a nice big Christmas card for somebody special. So you can bring your pens and paper or whatever and later on when you want to get really creative you can pop down to Lidl. So look forward to having your company. Tis the season to be jolly tra -la -la -la, la 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 I'm just getting into the mood of things. Christmas is coming, how exciting is that? And it's a great time to be creative for a start. And there are so many people out there doing wonderful things. There are baking cakes and plum puddings and mince pies. Mmm, gorgeous. But me, who can't really be very creative that way, I like to try uh, doing some drawing on that. But when you're making a cake or anything like that, you need the ingredients, right? Because then all mixed up and then the magic begins and everybody gets a chance to enjoy something special. But with drawing, you need the ingredients as well. You need the materials, paper, colour pencils, markers, crayons, whatever. And you know what? Two little elves, who are not too far away from me, told me that Lidl have a special supply of art materials for Christmas. How great is that? There's Eve up there and Eddie. So <laughs> that's where I'm going to go as well. So today I'm going to draw this big jolly scene here. And what you can do, hopefully, when you get your materials, is to make somebody a birthday card, a Christmas card, or maybe a get well card, anything like that. But since we're focusing on Christmas, especially a Christmas card. So here's Johnny Santa Claus with the two little elves and Rudolph and his nice big shining nose. Now sometimes it's a good idea maybe just to rough out things uh, on a piece of paper with a pencil to work out the ideas and that. And sometimes you just go head first, whatever suits you. Now we'll start off, we'll go up here and draw the eyes. So we draw a big, big curved shape like that. And we do the same on the other side like this. A bit like two egg shapes upside down. <laughs> then put a line across like this, line like across like this, and the eyelids. So we'll put them just around here, slightly curved like that. And then we put two black pupils, like two big grapes. Now, when I was a little boy, I used to write to Santa Claus, Dear Santa Claus, will you please send me a train set or a bicycle and this and the other. <laughs> Santa Claus always sent me pencils and paper, crayons and markers. How does Santa Claus know I like drawing? Anyway, he did. <laughs> and I'm glad he did because I've been drawing ever since, since I was four years of age. Now, that's a nice little curve. This is the, the snout. And up here now, we put a, a little curve, just not too far from the eye. And that's gonna be a bit of a smile. And we put a line down like this and join it up there, and the same on the other side, like that. So we give uh, Santa Claus a nice carrot, or sorry, Rudolph. Santa gets the mince pies, right? Rudolph gets the carrots. And here's a nice fresh carrot. And we just bring a line up here, right down like this. And we just indicate a few little kind of, almost like what's called a curve to that. Now we jump just straight down to Santa Claus here. And this time I'll start with the nose. 
and so on. It's got a big, big round curve like that. And the other amazing thing about drawing is that it makes you look at the world with fresh eyes. And then that's very important because suddenly everything has a beautiful shape and design in it. And it, you realise the wonder of life. Um, so as I said, doesn't matter what age you are, uh, you can enjoy art. Now down here, we've done the nose, we'll, we'll draw the eyes and we'll, we'll draw a curve here, a curve like that, and then we'll put a line across like that. That's just a nice little, little kind of chubby little bit, like mine. And the same on the other side like that. And there's the black pupils like that. Now the eyebrows, <laughs> There, well, I've made them kind of very fluffy looking. So you can imagine that. By the way, I saw Santa Claus once. I did. I went to the North Pole. It's quite amazing. It was all white, 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 white. And then we got to a certain point where suddenly there was this beautiful light. It started coming. It looked like it was coming from underground. We went down in there, and lo and behold, there was a lovely magic land where Santa Claus lives, and it was so exciting. And uh, I said to Santa, oh, I was delighted to be there, and do you know, I got a lovely drink from one of his helpers. It was one of these elves, and a little bit bigger, <laughs> and uh, it was a lovely drink of warm berries. Very nice. And, of course, you know, I love to ask questions, and I said to Santa Claus, Santa Claus, just a matter of interest, uh, how is it you can get around the world in 24 hours? And he said, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of people ask me, like, <laughs> well, you know, he says, one thing about living in the North Pole, it's a bit of a magical kingdom, and, you know, we can expand time. So in 24 hours, we can stretch time so I can get to all the places. I didn't know that, I was very impressed. And then, of course, I asked him another question. I said, you know this thing about <laughs> whether, whether a little child is good or bad and all that. <laughs> How did you know that? And he said, did you not notice the mountain coming in? I said, yeah. Yeah, I know the lots of mountains. Did you not? The one just over to the left. And I said, oh yeah, the one that's shaped like an ear? He says, yes. That's why we call it Ear Mountain. And I can hear everything from there. Wow, well, that was amazing. I didn't know that either. And then, of course, he introduced me to Rudolph and all the other deers. And then, of course, because I'm, I'm interested in wildlife and that, I was amazed to see all these wonderful creatures. And then, of course, I had to ask another question. I said, you know, <laughs> with your sack, I, it's a lovely sack, but it, it, I was just wondering how many toys does it hold and that? And he said, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you all my secrets now, he says, but, but you know, he said, um, the minute my sack is emptied, guess what happens? Fills up again. That's why it's a magic sack. So, wow. Extraordinary. So, it's only when you ask questions that you get the answers. Now, here's the big antlers of the reindeer. And I'm just doing nice squiggly lines like that. And then we put a line down like this and bring this line around like that. And there we have the, the neck. And I'll put in a few little, little circles like that. Just to show he has a little, a little neck to, uh, shape with all these lovely little bells. There, small little ones. 
So when you hear the old jingle bells, jingle bells, they add to it. So. Now, there we go. Now, so I'm happy there, and I'll, I'll draw the hands here. And he's keeping his hands warm because it's very cold in the North Pole. And he, got, he has to go over to Russia and America and all these places. So he likes to keep himself nice and warm. And of course, he loves coming to Ireland. <laughs> How about that? How exciting. <laughs> and there's the other one. The other hand like that. And we're just, I'm doing this very quickly. You can take your time when you're doing this. Now, now we'll put in our little friends here. Uh, the two little elves. And you remember their names? Yes, we have Eve and Eddie. And there's lots of helpers for Santa Claus. And in fact, the one I haven't put in yet, I'll just put it in before I finish. Now, and they've got a little green hat. How about that? And here's Eddie. And he's playing a little musical instrument. In Ireland, part of Ireland, they call it the squeeze box. <laughs> Little accordion. And over here, we'll draw Eve. She's got a lovely smile as well. Big eyes. And there's, she's wearing a little green hat as well. And we go right around. And she's actually, one of her favorite jobs is to bring the presents and wrapping them up. She loves doing that. So, <laughs> so when you're in the needle, have a look at it. You might see her. She just kind of sneaks around the place along with Eddie. So the wonderful thing, as I say, about art, is it gives you a chance to use your imagination. And we all have imagination, and that's very, very uh, important. And it's good to use it. And because of all the, uh, all the drama that's been going on, uh, a lot of people have been coming very creative as well. And, uh, I'm so, I'm so pleased because if you make the what's called the creative journey in life, you can have it for the rest of your life. It's just a special thing. Now down here, I'm going to put another little character you might see over in the little store, and it's the lovely little doggy. He's a little small husky, and he is. A great friend of Santa Claus as well. And there he's got a bit of a smile like that. So a little curve like that and a little curve like that. And then the big alert ears like that. And there we are. I'm just doing this very quickly. And here's this little pause. Now, I'm going to uh, just put in a little sign here. I chose the North Pole. <laughs> the North Pole. Ho, ho, ho. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on this now. I remember once, again, when I was very small, I, uh, I asked my uncle, who came visiting from uh, County Leash, and I said to him, did, did you ever see Santa Claus? And he said, oh yes, he says, uh, I've seen Santa Claus occasionally, 
Sometimes he appears to adults. And uh, yes, very jolly man. And I said, oh, yeah. And it, where, where did you last see him? And you see, when I, I lived in a place called Donnybrook, and it was a place, and beside Donnybrook is a beautiful park called Herbert Park. And my uncle said, oh, surely he parks his sleigh in the in Herbert Park when he's around the area. And I, he says, he, uh, then he comes and delivers the, uh, the presents. I go, wow. So I decided to stay up all night. I was six. I'm going to stay up all night and I'll see Santa Claus. And of course, then I thought, actually, it would be nice to go down to the park. It was kind of late in the evening, but I had to climb in. <laughs> and uh, so I got dressed, ready to go out. And suddenly my sister grabbed me. She was, oh, she was a lot older than me. Where do you think you're going? And I said, I'm, I'm just going to the park. She said, it's far too late, you know. But I went to see Santa Claus. Will you get to bed? Because Santa Claus will not bring you any presents if you're wandering around. So I went back to bed and I sat down and I said, I'm going to stay awake all night. <laughs> and guess what? I fell asleep. I woke up the next morning and here's some nice presents for me, which I was very pleased about. As just a lovely watercolour sets and pencils and crayons and things and uh, then I decided to sneak down to the park because it was quite early and I went down and I looked in the you know over at the playing area that's where apparently Santa Claus sleigh was just to see could I see any footprints of the deer and of course do you know what couldn't see any. So at Christmas dinner, I said to my uncle, um, I went down to the park and I, and I never saw any footprints. And he said, well, how, how would you? And I said, well, do not deer not leave footprints. He said, these are Santa's deers, are not like, they don't leave footprints. They don't leave a trace of anything, except the fact that you've got a lovely present. This is nothing I didn't know. Amazing. Anyway, I better finish this off. Uh, now I'll put another little bit of colour up there. And again, I'm just saying you can take your time with this. And I gave you a little hint now at where to get some extra art material supplies. So I can't say I didn't tell you. Uh, because we don't want to be too greedy looking for everything from Santa Claus, do we? And don't forget you adults, you you have a chance now to be creative, express yourselves. And uh, don't worry about making mistakes. And the great Chinese artists of long ago used to say, you can't call yourself an artist until you make a thousand mistakes. I'm on hundred and... 24, I think. <laughs> anyway, that's just to give you a rough idea. And by the way, the husky, little crayons like this. But these are watercolour crayons, so I can actually add a little bit of water to them. There he is. I'm put it, just show you how it works. just basically how you draw a nice little cheerful scene for Christmas and I will be doing more at a later stage but in the meantime I'll put back the original one
So, if I'm not talking to you before Christmas, I want you all to have a very happy Christmas and let's make this one a very special one. So, a very happy Christmas to you all. <laughs>